I think the revolution of media started in the web, in the internet, as we call it. I think it's only natural that um, a platform that allows for anonymity would be where media revolution happens. And I think the reason is because a lot of people don't feel as if they can speak in public life, in real life, you know, in the streets, in coffee shops, even in, you know, maybe government meetings or, you know, government citizen meetings. People don't feel safe. They feel like if they challenge uh, conventional wisdom or they challenge governments, that they're not going to be able to uh, share the truth. Sometimes it's hard to look at the truth. So the internet provides that platform where you can be anonymous and where you can not only be anonymous, but where you can still be transparent while being anonymous. So it's a kind of a symbiotic relationship that is, uh, creates a, 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 you know, a magical recipe for revolution in media, just like we spoke about. I think citizen media should not only be considered journalism. I think citizen media or citizen journalism is where some of the most interesting stories break. I think it's where some of the most interesting stories are followed up on. Um, if you look at the mainstream media, so often because of advertising and because of the way the industry works, um, people don't always follow up on a story. They do a story and then they finish, you know. They don't come back and say, but four months later, this happened. Um, I think citizen journalism, just because there's a maximization of voices and also because of the structure, um, citizen journalism allows and encourages and promotes crowdsourcing. Um, it, it, it breaks the barriers not just between who is producing the media but who is consuming the media. And the truth is all journalists who are part of the mainstream media are themselves part of the story whether they want to admit it or not. Sometimes more so and sometimes less so. So citizen journalism immediately creates uh, an equal playing field by which anybody can, can tell stories. I mean, there's so many examples, I don't need to give them to you. If you watch any of the footage or the media, even the mainstream media from what's happening in the Arab world right now, you'll find that most of it is sourcing citizen journalists or playing things that citizen journalists um, uncovered. Plus, remember, citizen journalists are everywhere, everywhere in society. So because they're everywhere, they have the upper hand. So I think Al Jazeera is leading the way uh, in a lot, in a large part, in terms of the media. But as I said in the panel when we were discussing, Al Jazeera is not doing anything more than amplifying and accelerating voices that we're already hearing. For months, for years, we've had people calling for change, getting on top of the rooftops and uh, shouting Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, uh, so exacerbated with, with their daily lives that Al Jazeera is only amplifying those voices. Um, the New York Times, called this moment Al Jazeera's moment. But the truth is, as I said, this isn't Al Jazeera's moment. This isn't my moment or your moment. It's all of our moments because we were talking about citizen journalism and what you can do with it. But I will say uh, Al Jazeera, I think for a lot of reasons, because of their, their uh, history in the field, because they ha understand the context in the region, perhaps they're taking brave people and reinforcing their bravery and saying, it's okay to be brave. It's okay to ask for change and making it so that governments are forced to listen. I think I would just want them to continue to explore and innovate. Um, they have the luxury of being able to challenge stereotypes in media, uh, conventional wisdom, how we do the media, how we report the media. I think it'd be interesting to really, uh, for example, the stream, my program, uh, changes the whole relationship between the anchor and the person who's producing the news and the person who's consuming it. I think I want to see Al Jazeera in their news um, incorporate more of that citizen spirit, incorporate more voices, not just people like me. I mean, the truth is I'm lucky because I get to be on Al Jazeera and I get to you know, be the mouthpiece for so many people, but I would love to see Al Jazeera find a way of maximizing the talent and the amount of information that exists outside of the uh, studio. I think this initiative, from what I've seen in just two days, uh, is the kind of thing that will only encourage the people who are participating to continue doing what they're doing. Whether that means, uh, you know, television, media, citizen journalism, or technology, or electrical engineering. I mean, I've seen all kinds of things here, and I'll be honest with you, I've been to many conferences this year. And I haven't yet met uh, the kind of people that I've met here. I've met people from Israel, from Palestine, people from Cuba, people from, I mean, you know, it's amazing. You meet uh, people who you probably wouldn't meet anywhere else, and that alone makes it a really great conference.